Dear learners, welcome to this video on organizing and managing online academic counseling sessions. As we all are aware that information and communication technology has been influencing our lives significantly and it has created a strong impact on the education system as a whole in the world. And now the two waves of COVID-19 pandemic have created a totally different scenario for the educational system. Classroom boundaries have crossed the realms of time, location, and physical presence of the teacher as well as the learners. To contain the spread of the pandemic, all the educational institutions, whether it is school education or higher education, were closed. Physical gathering of students and face-to-face -face classes was completely stopped. All the educational institutions whether at school level or higher education levels, started depending completely on online mode of learning. However, the level of exploiting these online tools has been different for each and every institution, for every teacher, depending upon the ICT infrastructure and trained human resource in the area. Amongst the educational setup, the ODL system has also actively taken steps to adapt to this new situation and for online facilitation of its learners who are geographically scattered. Online platforms, social media channels like Facebook, WhatsApp, Gyan Darshan, Gyanwani, Google Meet, Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams have been explored as a suitable alternative for reaching out to the learners in all parts of the world, especially the inaccessible and remote locations. Open and distance learning institutions appoints academic counselors to interact, guide, and advise the learners on both academic and non-academic issues. This we have already discussed in the previous videos. Distance learners experience both course-related and academic difficulties during their studies and they are addressed appropriately by the academic counselors. Now to cope with the new situation and assist as well as support the learners counseling through online sessions has also been started by the ODL institutions. Now we will discuss about online learning environment. What exactly is the online learning environment? How we as an academic counselors or would be academic counselors can prepare ourselves for the online learning environments. Online mode of learning is being used worldwide where teachers, instructors and learners are coming online to interact with each other and learn using a variety of online platforms as I said earlier like Zoom, Google Meet, email, online LMS, etc. The interaction is also happening in different ways. Some are opting for synchronous mode of delivery and others for the asynchronous mode. Now what is this synchronous and asynchronous mode or the learning environment? Synchronous learning environment is when there are real-time interaction amongst the instructors and learners and learners attend live sessions with an opportunity for instant feedback, whereas asynchronous learning environments are not real-time. In such a learning environment, learning content is not available in the form of live lectures or classes. It is available at different learning systems and forums. Instant feedback and immediate response is also not possible under the environment of asynchronous communication. This video, for example, when you will be watching, this is asynchronous communication. Since you will be posting your comments in the forums and chat boxes, this is asynchronous. But when a webinar is conducted to discuss out the different modules or to answer the queries of the learners, that is the synchronous mode if we want to take it in this understand it in this scenario. Learners, online learning is now becoming an easily accessible medium as it can even reach rural and remote areas. It is also considered a relatively cheaper mode of education considering lower cost of transportation, accommodation and the overall cost of institution-based learning. Online learning also provides flexibility where learners can learn anytime and anywhere thereby developing new skills in the process of leading to lifelong learning. While learning online, a learner can schedule or plan their courses and time for completion of those courses as well. 
online learning when combined with face to face learning can give opportunity for a rise in the blended learning and flipped classroom environment this type of learning environment can increase the learning potential of the students the governments are also recognizing the increasing importance of online learning in this dynamic world learners now we will be focusing upon the role and preparation of academic counselors for online environments previously we have just discussed a role of academic counselors now we are discussing role and preparations needed by academic counselors for the online environments academic counselors faculty members tutors they are the principal agents who deal with the transition from traditional tutoring and counseling practices to those required by online environments their orientation and capacity building in acquiring ict skills and its implementation in counseling and tutoring scenarios need to be facilitated tutors have to move from a role of knowledge providers to one of the knowledge facilitators as mentioned earlier they are change agents who enhance the autonomous learning that students develop hernandez in 2005 gave some roles for the online tutor what are those roles that is basically to promote the learner to socialize to facilitate the learning to motivate the learner and to establish a communication channel with the learners any academic professional who stimulates the constructive and analytical attitude of students and guides the students learning process by fostering autonomy is known as a tutor in online environments so this is one of the definitions which is given by researchers castrello garcia and ruperes in 2005 there are some of the key skills which are needed by the online tutor or instructor which are apt for an academic counselor also for accomplishing the task the first and the foremost skill is the communication skill for online environment clear and steady communication is important which can be achieved using different communication channels as we discussed in synchronous and asynchronous like emails discussion forums chats skype and other social networking mediums can also be exploited for the same it is also necessary to provide clear instructions to the students so when when we are basically reaching to the learners then clear instructions clear guidelines is a very important communication which we make with our students the next key point is discussions and interactions it is a key component and an online instructor has to determine appropriate moments to intervene in discussions and to continuously promote interaction with groups and individuals the next key point is information and communication technology competency that is ict competency knowledge and application of ict tools in the taking and handling online sessions along with making them interactive and interesting become mandatory an online tutor should also have the capability to troubleshoot any difficulties if they arise during the online session or are faced by the learners the next important key area is content area competence this is not just relevant for the online learning environment but this is relevant for all kind of situations when we are in face to face mode also so basically an online instructor needs to mentor learners and should have content mastery the next is management management starts from planning and planning is the basis for achieving expected performance and e tutors and e learners have to plan and adapt it decision making skill is another aspect which is required to benefit the learners so basically the, the the management skills also play a key role in becoming an academic counselor who is dealing online the next is vision having the ability to look for resources and methodologies that will ensure the quality of the course critically analyzing strengths and weaknesses encountered during the course whether over a short or a long term period so since we said certainly sometime an academic counselor or an e tutor faces certain problems so the moral is to take learning from there and implement it in the next session whenever they are taking 
The next is very important, what which is open mindedness, working cooperatively with the e-learning group, being capable of accepting suggestions, providing solutions, and attending to learners' request. These are also a key uh, important points while being in an online session. Apart from these key skills required by an e-tutor, there is an important aspect of motivation and adaptation to the environment amongst the academic counselors. Now we have discussed role and preparation of academic counselors. Now there is also a need for preparing learners for this online environment. How do we prepare? How can an academic counselor prepare learners for this online environment so learners you people play an important role in the implementation and success of any idea technique or medium your acceptance learners acceptance and presence makes the task possible it is also appropriate to mention here that learners have a determining role in the change of mentality which is required to deal with new educational challenges in non traditional learning environments Instructors can take support from learners in IT skills and other domains that will ultimately lead to increased motivation, discipline, independence, and willingness to learn from the errors which the students commit. But for all this, there has to be a coherence amongst learners and instructors in planning for the online sessions. learners are seen as risk takers and constructive members in a learning community their active participation along with the instructors for planning and executing online session will be a learning for both the parties whether it is counselors or learners themselves apart from this learner during this period need academic support in the conduct of online counseling sessions learners should also be given the time to adapt or adopt to new learning skills acquired that will help them become active and motivated learners in online or virtual learning environments keeping this in mind the major role for teachers both viewed as the course planners also and tutor also counselors also will involve smoothing the progress of learners by incorporating highly interactive practices that will transfer well from synchronous to asynchronous learning scenarios and promote autonomous learning apart from counseling and tutoring assessment is another important component handled by the academic counselor so the next topic which we are covering is assessment and wrap up activities in online learning environment so in an online learning environment every session should conclude with activities that wrap up the issues covered in the introductory or the central section to bring in interaction and active involvement of learners either individually or in groups these wrap up activities can include extra practice assignments project work activities involving technology literature review reflections surveys interviews portfolios and presentations that lead students to work autonomously a component of feedback and evaluation using rubrics must be designed and assigned while assigning the task or the job this will contribute to their developmental practices also online instructors or tutors shall bring in discussion and debate in the critical points and arguments with citations that will generate interest in the class along with making the learners active learners now we will be discussing about the challenges which are faced in the online teaching learning scenario online learning environment has its own challenges some of which can be dealt with by discussing and exploring new opportunities available and for some solution are right now maybe not visible to all of us instructors and learners encounter technical challenges of installation logging downloading uploading internet connectivity and related to audio and video also these challenges can be overcome by support from each other as well as with practice apart from this there are certain more challenges which are faced by the teachers or the learners 
learning in online environment is sometimes boring and unengaging personal attention goes missing in online environments two way interaction sometimes become difficult to implement learners feel a lack of community in online learning environments online learning gives so much time and flexibility that learners never find time to complete the task learners are not able to either maintain their time table or face difficulty in balancing their lives family time social life which ultimately impact each and every aspect of their life since we have talked about the challenges we we, we must also discuss the possible solutions available for these challenges or which can be looked by us so regarding the technical challenges these can be handled in different ways like pre recording of video lectures testing the content supporting each other in troubleshooting and always keeping plan b ready for overcoming any glitch learning in online setup should be made dynamic interesting and interactive instructors can use features of time limit and reminders for learners to make them alert and attentive interaction and personal attention shall be focused upon while being in an online learning environment which will help learners in adopting to this new way for keeping the communication and interaction active various social media platforms group forums or messaging apps can also be utilized by the instructors content should also be presented in such a way that learners can practice and own their skills instructors shall be extra prepared for sessions which are online feedback is an important component of communication process whether online or offline and effective online instructions will facilitate feedback from learners and make them ask questions and broader the learning for the course content pedagogical issues need to be focused by the institution and emphasis should be on collaborative learning project based learning through online instructions instructors in online learning environment should focus on each and every aspect minutely like content instruction motivation of learners relationships of learners and their mental health instructors can try different teaching strategies like case study experiential learning debates games brainstorming sessions discussions and drills apart from regular lectures different online tools and application available with open licenses can be used in online learning environments like h5p canva quizzes mind mapping tools audio and video creation tools etc google also comes up with a lot of tools which are free to use so they can also be utilized for enhancing creativity and interactivity in the online sessions online counseling session come with their own pros and cons and they are visibly more effective than face to face in terms of cost of the platform learner engagement learner satisfaction and continuous monitoring in large universities with huge roll number with huge enrollment number like igno centralized counseling session by the regional centers have drastically reduced the cost as the individual learner support centers are not permitted to conduct the counseling sessions the most important thing to be noticed is that teachers do not get distracted by the learners who are not actively involved in the counseling sessions and engage in other activities simultaneously and involved learners get more benefit out of it today online teaching can occur synchronously or asynchronously and may be either fully online or in a blended mode with face to face teaching or combined elements of campus based and hybrid forms of instructions teachers new to this mode may experience frustration anxiety and confusion as they embark on a new learning journey as e teachers going beyond content delivery teachers must become a guide on the side who scaffolds and coaches and often this demands a change in teacher skills and pedagogies with a consequent rethinking or transformation of professional identity and the role there are several features of the online environment that require teachers 
to adopt new practices, to step back from their directive roles and instead become facilitators of learning, considering the learner as an active member of a community of practice. So this was all for this uh, class, this video. We'll be discussing other topics in the next class. Thank you. Bye-bye.